Now we come to the beginning of the left angle process. The four left angle profiles. And the geometry of the left angle is the geometry of transpersonal karma. It is the polarity to the right angle process. The right angle process and its self-absorption, its personal destiny, the fulfillment of its process through itself. And the left angle process, the transpersonal karma in which the fulfillment of purpose can only be achieved through interaction with the other. And so this is a very different configuration in the way in which it operates. And you can see that mostly through the personality of the left angle. When you're dealing with the personality of the left angle, you're always dealing with upper trigram lines. You're dealing with the 5, 1, 5, 2, and then of course the 6, 2, and the 6, 3. So in dealing with these upper trigram lines that are already transpersonal in their nature, that the who you think you are aspect of the left angle profile is always focused on the transpersonal at one level or another. And yet when we're dealing with the way in which the hexagram operates, and it's something that I've stated many times in looking at hexagram structure, that in many ways the hexagram stops at the fifth line. The sixth line process is quite different. Like in the illustration of the structure of the hexagram, the sixth line sits on the roof. You know, it really isn't part of the structure itself. And that when it comes to looking at the nature of hexagrams, even going back to the traditional I Ching from China, you will see that fifth lines carry a very special quality. It is in the fifth line that the real potential of the left angle is expressed. In other words, that the fifth line is designed to be pulled into a position of calling out the other. And not so much calling out the other within the context of the hexagram, but expressing, propagandizing, however you want to describe that, the nature of the hexagram to the outside world. And the advantage that is built in, in order for this to be possible, is that the fifth line always receives positive projection before it receives negative projection. You know, it's one of the mysteries of the fifth line. In other words, whenever you meet a fifth line, it makes a connection to you in your design that the first projection, the first projection is this person can. You know, and if this person can't, or if the person doesn't, then there is automatically the negative projection that follows. And of course, as we well know, negative projections can be enormously powerful and very hard to deal with. So the fifth line in its nature because it is sub subject to that kind of projection learns very early in its life as an infant as a matter of fact that this is something it has to deal with and inherent in that is the development of paranoia in other words the paranoia of the expectation of the other and the fear of in not being able to fulfill that expectation that punishment is certainly going to follow we're dealing with the line of the heretic so when we're looking at the 5-1, we're looking at the heretical investigator. In other words, deep at the first line level, there is a foundation. And here what you have is that you have the basic foundation of the hexagram, and you have that basic foundation coupled with the dream. In other words, you have this expression of what is possible. So the 5-1 as a profile you know, when you when you meet them, you're often really surprised that they do not have the kind of demonstrative personalities that you would expect. In other words, that the five one child that comes into the world that cannot be the perfect child, no child can, um, is going to have to deal with the, the projection that it is lesser than what it can or could be for the rest of its life. The not-self is devastatingly cruel. So in dealing with the 5-1, one, one of the real keys is practicality, and the practicality which is always associated with the fifth line, but more so the practicality in knowing what investigation is worthy of calling out to others. As you will see, that it is left pretty much to the 5-1 to handle the propaganda of the hexagram. Because the moment that we move to the 5-2, what we'll begin to look at next week, you will see that because of the hermit unconscious, the whole process is very, very different. In the left angle game, 
It's the five one that does the marketing.